has been over one month since the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors embarked on strike. The doctors embarked on strike since August 2, 2021, over unresolved issues with the federal government, bordering on the welfare of members. So far, the major parties involved have been involved in various meetings, but no resolution has been met. Report has revealed that as the strike lingers, the strike has had great effect on Nigerians. Following this report, we at Equals Blog are out here to speak with Nigerians on how the strike has affected them. Let's go. The federal government is supposed to have responded by now. And it shouldn't be something that will take this long. So it's more disappointed in a country like Nigeria to still hold back till something like this. Like a neighbor of mine, you can just imagine, like a four-month-old uh, four baby, as of last week, was being diagnosed to have a kidney issue. And yesterday morning, that baby is dead. You know why? Because we use uh, this Bagada General Hospital. I mean, medical line, by the way. I'm an occasional therapist. So, this baby was being transferred from Bagada General Hospital and they're supposed to be in loot. But because of the strike, they couldn't go there. They have to refer them to a private hospital, which they, have, they got a bill of 2.5 million. We rally alarmed because it's my neighbor. We try to raise as much as we can. But at the end of the day, after two weeks of this baby, it was being ejected from the uh, private hospital because they couldn't continue the payment. They came back home, they only lasted one, one week. That was like just six days at home because his kidney and this baby just died like that. So now imagine the amount of people that they, they don't have any platform to share their story in this short time. The, in, in the federal government, it's a short time. But it's a long time in people that are really suffering in their homes that used to go back home and just be nursing their healed ones and their sick ones. And there's nobody to help. The federal governments are not even helping the matters. Because they have a family, they have everybody. So if they are not paying their money, how are they going to live? The federal government are complaining that the doctors are moving. They are traveling outside the, the country. They are paying them 300,000 naira per month here. And when you travel over there, they pay them about 40 million naira per year. So the, the doctor, they are the same woman being now. So the governments are not even helping the matters. I can't blame the doctors because they are demanding for their rights. But uh, in the case of the masses, the people are suffering. So it's not something that is that's supposed to take too long than necessary. So I employ appeal to the government to hear their cry. We can't even do a whole body scan right now in Nigeria. They will tell you it's only available in one place. So they are creating, they use the problem that they are creating to create business for some people. And then all that's only few can even afford the private private diagnosis center, private uh, scanning centers, and all of all of this. So at the end of the day, people use the opportunity to rip others off. To me, I think the government is all about this. Like, you know, like, um, how, why should the residents, doctor, like, the government are not doing well. As in, the government is not doing well, I mean. So I assume the government is doing well. So everything, we, they will not be on strike, you know, like, everything will be smoothly, good you know so I think that's to me that's a cause I think if there is any complaint about the patients going to the um, going to loot or general hospital complaining about people dying they should just find a way to go to the private hospital so that they will attend to them well because you can't just rely on the government them not doing anything and oh so what we're asking for is very is very simple I study in India I came back home because I believe so much in this country so I want to practice and I want to really make my own effect here. But now, the, the most uh, disappointing thing is that we don't even have a good environment in which we can even work. There is no con uh, a very good uh, te uh, technologies and we don't, we don't have things, we don't have equipment to work with. My grandmothers have to come in all the way from Mondo down to Lagos and get him to loot. They say, even the woman that's still there today, there's no any doctor to attend to her. As I'm talking to you now, so the other man have a cancer, and we went to the loot on getting there. They said we should come, they come today, come tomorrow. As I'm talking to you now, the woman has seen there, there. So the doctor, they say until when they 
when they call, uh, call up the, uh, the strike. So we don't know what is happening to this country. We don't know. The federal government should just show mercy on the doctors and let them just pay them off and so all these things will just be happening and all. You have heard from Nigerians on how the ongoing resident doctor strike is taking its toll. Though the federal government has made some promises and negotiations are underway, Nigerians ask that a permanent solution be implemented and the health sector better equipped and improved. From Equal's blog, I am Lucy Ohiri. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to follow us on all our social media platforms. Thank you.